Shalom, Yeshua, giving all praise and glory to the Most High by our power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're going to continue in um, protecting ourselves from high level demons. For real, for real. So we're going to continue. We're going to go to Ephesians 6 and 11. Ephesians 6 and 11. It say, Put on the whole armor of the Most High. Hear that? So the armor means protection. This is kind of where we started from and dealing with how we got to protect ourselves from high level demons. You understand? So I say, put on the whole armor. We put on armor. That's a protection. It's talking about put on the whole protection of the Most High. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You see, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Those are high-level demons in high places that will get into the minds of whoever that's not spiritually endowed and in touch with the Most High. The Most High know them, and <laughs> they know the Most High. The Masha Abishai know them, and they know the Masha Abishai, and they confess the Most High, not just for something that he's done for them, but they confess the Most High. They confess to the Mashiach, they besides you confess you before the Most High and before the angels. It's really serious. So it ain't flesh and blood that we fight against. We fight against high-level demons in high places that are invisible, that get into the minds of people to have them be a certain way. That's why we're looking at our people, how they were, and how they are. For real, for real. Since we're in Ephesians, look at Ephesians 5, 14. Wherefore he said, Awake, say, Wake up, thou that sleepest. And when you sleep, what is it? You're in darkness, in ignorance, not knowing what time it is. And arise from the dead, from a dead state of mind. Not realizing, you know, the spiritual power that we have in the Most High, Baha Shalom, Mashakel Shah, rolling. With the Most High, Baha Shama Mashiach Kelshak. Waking up from a dead state of mind. And Mashiach Kelshak shall give thee light. He's going to give thee light. He is the light. He is the example of how we came and on this earth to be able to fulfill what the Most High would have us do in following his light, which is the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High when you read Proverbs 6 and 23. This is what we're looking at because everything is not just, he don't want everybody to get this, so it's not for everybody. But he said the light, what is the light? Proverbs 6, 23, for the commandment is a lamp and the law is light. You see, the law of the Most High that he wrote with his finger, the work of the Most High is light. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. You see, going back to Ephesians 5. Verse 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly, cautiously, not as fools, but as wise. You didn't say not as fools, but as wise, you know, having his wisdom. Why well, say Proverbs 4 and 17? Proverbs 4 and 17. It says, no, Proverbs 4 7, select here. Wisdom is the principal thing, right? Wisdom is the proper application of knowledge. How we apply this knowledge in our life is the principal thing, but with all that getting, excuse me, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding, you see? So that's why we go into this and looking at the things that we have to deal with, especially, you know, we as the Israelites amongst our people, because two thirds of our people are not going to get this and much I was trying to say, your enemies can be there of your own household, your own family. And we the family or the house of Israel who live in a house family of Israel. You see? So now, going back to Ephesians 5, we got to be aware of this. Because what we're looking at so far is from our people, man. That's why I say, verse 15, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You see? Redeeming the time. Say redeeming the time is very important. 
because the days are evil. He let you know. It was evil then, it is evil now. Straight up. The days are evil. He said, wherefore be ye not unwise. He said, don't be unwise, but understanding. Remember say what it said? With all that getting good understanding, but understanding what the will of the Most High is. And we know the will of the Most High is to keep his commandments. Have faith in him first and foremost. No, first and foremost, fear the Most High. Repent, keep his commandments, and cry unto the Most High sincerely. That's the will of the Most High. And be not drunk with wine. Where of his excess. Got to drink in moderation. But be filled with the Spirit, you see. Be filled with the Spirit. What's the Spirit? St. John 6, 63. St. John 6, 63. It is the Spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The words of this Bible that I speak unto you, that I must ever say spoken to us throughout the volume of the book, they are spirit. You hear that? The words of this Bible is spirit and they are life to bring you to everlasting life. Acts 6. Acts the 6th chapter. We're going to read from verse 1 to 5. Acts 6, 1 to 5. We're looking at these high level demons that was in our people that we got to be aware of. And these are examples that our ancestors left us to go by. Acts 6 and 1. And in those days, when the number of the disciples were multiplied, there rose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Right? And we went over this. But the Grecians are Greek-speaking Jews. The Grecians go back to, uh, let me show you, back to 1 Maccabees and during the the um, first empire of the so-called white man, when Alexander the Greek came in, he died, and he set up his four generals. Then you can look at what happened with us in uh, the first Maccabees. We're in the Roman Empire, as we read in Acts and so forth. In the New Testament, from Matthew on, we're in the Roman Empire. Before the Roman Empire was the Greek Empire, and it was in it's in the Apocrypha. So you gotta go to First Maccabees and Second Maccabees to get the Greek Empire, because you're in the Persian Mede Empire and, and Malachi, the last prophet of the whole testament. Then it's a blank page, that's the Greek Empire. Then you had the Roman Empire. You see, you don't jump from the Persian Mede Empire to the Roman Empire. You gotta have the Greeks took down. The Persian meat. Let me show you that just in case some of you don't know. And it's in the Bible. First first book of the Maccabees. The first book of the Maccabees. Chapter 1. It said, and it happened after that Alexander, to my Alexander the Greek, that you learned about in school, son of Philip the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, has smitten Darius, king of the Persian and Medes. You see? The Persian and Medes, who the Greeks took down. That he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. See? So that's the Greek Empire coming into power, taking down the Persian Media Empire. So I want to show you what happened with us once he came into power. And this wicked king out of Seleucid dynasty, Antiochus Epiphanes, started to reign. Then this is what we did as a people. Why you see Greeks had a problem with the Hebrews, they still were Israelites. But look at this. First Maccabees 1 Maccabees 1.11 says, In those days went there out of Israel wicked men, see, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant, a contract agreement with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. So they want to make a covenant with the heathen. When the Most High told us in Jeremiah 10 to 2, Learn not the way of the heathen. Here it is. Then certain of them were so forward there herein that they went to the king, this wicked king Antiochus Epiphanes, who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Now what did they do? Wherefore they built a place of exercise. I got all these gems that y'all running into. At Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen. You see that? Look what else they did. And made themselves uncircumcised. 
and forsook the Holy Covenant. The Holy Covenant was given to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, to the 12 tribes of Israel, who are Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Asher, Naphtali, and Issachar. The 12 tribes of Israel. Hear that? And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the Holy Covenant, the Holy Laws of the Most High, and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. You see? And most I'm going to get you for that. Look at uh, what uh, Antiochus Epiphanes did, speaking of him, verse 41. This is so-called white king, an Edomite, Antiochus Epiphanes, in verse 41. First Maccabees 1 and 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Sound like New World Order to me. And everyone should leave his laws. All of us should leave the laws of the Most High. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king, right? Because they don't have no laws. Most I gave the laws to the Israelites. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. But the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem. See, that's where we're at, the Israelites. And the cities of Judah, that's where we're at, in the cities of Judah, the Israelites, that they should follow the strange laws of the land. See, so now what did they do? They polluted our sanctuary, verse 40. I'm getting right to the point. It says that they should also lead their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation, unholiness, man. So, most I got something for them, though. Jeremiah 9, 25. Look at this. Jeremiah 9 and 25. Jeremiah 9, 25. Understand this, Yahshua. It said, Behold, the days come, said the Most High, that I will punish all of them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. See that? So all you want to be joined with them? He said he's going to punish you. We the circumcised. We the ones. The circumcision is also learning the most high's rules and regulations. It's all statutes and commandments. You know, that was the whole thing. Everybody should leave their law. So that makes you uncircumcised. The things that you do as a heathen, that make you uncircumcised. You got to separate yourself. He separated us from all the other nations. He said, I'm going to punish them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. There it is. That's the judgment coming. So when you see in 1 Maccabees, the first chapter, the 48th verse, that they should also leave their children uncircumcised. See that? This is what the so-called white man did to us. And make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. You know, men with men, women with women, and eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish, whatever you can think of to eat doo-doo. They say, to the end, they might forget the law. See? To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinances, man. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. See? So this is what we're dealing with. Second, Mac Second, Mac Second Maccabees 4, the fourth chapter in the 15th verse. Listen, all wicked people. Well, let's, let's read. Uh, man. Look at this. Let's, <laughs> I'm going to read the whole thing. Go to, go to 2 Maccabees 4 and 9. It says, beside this, this is in the Greek Empire. This is long before Mashiach came on the earth in the flesh. Besides this, he promised to assign 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise. See? And for the training up of youth, our little boys and girls, in the fashions of the heathen. Train up the youth in the fashions of of the heathen. See this? Forget our laws and learn the way of the heathens. As the most I said, we're not supposed to. And to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. 
like we call ourselves Americans after Antiosis. No, no, Americo Vespucci. Because Africa named after uh, Americo Vespucci. I mean, Antiosis Epiphanes, I got them backwards. But we'll call ourselves Antiochians after Antiochus Epiphanes. Man, which when the king had granted and he had gotten into his hand the rule, he forthwith brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. See that? And the royal privileges granted of special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Epolemus, Ep who went ambassador to Rome for amity and aid, because the Romans was looking for the Romans to help him, he took away and put it down the governments which were according to the law, hear that, put it down the governments which was according to the law, he brought up new customs against the law, right? He took down the governments which were according to the law and he brought up new customs against the law. So that's why you see when you get to the New Testament, you see into the Jew and to the Greek, you see these Grecians, Greek-speaking Jews and so forth, made Greeks their customs. This is where it all started from, in the Greek Empire. For he built gladly a place of exercise. He, remember it said, learned the customs of the heathen and made gyms and so forth. He made places of exercise. They were exercising in there, butt naked and all that, doing all kind of madness, man. Y'all see the movies? And for he built gladly a place of exercise, plus pictures that we have in books, under the tower itself and brought the chief men, young men, under the subjection. The chief young men under subjection and made them wear a hat. Listen, now such was the height of the Greek fashions, an increase of hedonism. Hedonist manners. Hear that? Hedonism. Hedonist manners. Through the exceeding profan profaneness, that's, that's unholiness of Jason, that unlikely wretch, un unrighteous wretch, and no high priest, that the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altar. He couldn't even serve at the altar for the Most High and to the Most High. But the, despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, hastened to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discus like they play in schools and Olympics and so forth, called them forth. This is what it says here not setting in the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. Hear that? They like the glory of the Grecians, the so-called white man's hedonistic ways best of all. That's why I said they learned the way of the heathen, man. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them. That's why the most I said, Jeremiah 9, 25, Behold, the days come, said the Most High, that I will punish all them which are circumcised with the uncircumcised. You're going to follow their ways instead of the Most High's ways? By reason where thereof, sore calamities. This verse 16, 2 Maccabees 4th chapter. Sore calamities came upon them, for they had them to be their enemies and avengers, whose custom they followed so earnestly. Hear that? They became the enemies and avengers against them. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thy enemy. And unto whom they desired to be like in all things. Hear that? They want to be like them in all things. <clears throat> but to sambos. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the law of the Most High. I'm going to read to you again, especially you out there, you post up eating preachers and all you that's following them. That's saying we ain't under the Most High's law. Here it say, for it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the law of the Most High, but the time following shall declare these things. Hmm. Man. Now, when the game that was used every fifth year, it's like the Olympics, they have every four, four years, but this was done every fifth year. 
was kept at Tyrus the king being present. This ungracious Jason sent special messages from Jerusalem who were Antiochians, who were Sambos that called themselves Antiochians after this wicked king, Antiochus Epiphanes, to carry 300 datras of silver to the sacrifice of Hercules, which even the bearers thereof thought fit not to bestow upon the sacrifice. They cared they didn't want to do it because it was not convenient, but to the but to the reserve for other charges, man. Could have been this money then in regard of the sender was appointed to Hercules' sacrifice. But because of the bearers thereof, it was employed to the making of galleys, man. Galleys are what? Places to hang people. Understand, understand this. So that's what we're looking at, man. So, and then we look at uh, 2 Maccabees uh, 6, and 6 getting right to the point. This in the Greek Empire, before the Roman Empire, before Moshev Shad came on the earth, this is what was going on with our people. Listen, 2 Maccabees 6 and 6, neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. Now y'all celebrating birthdays. We celebrate no birthdays. Look at this. And the day of the king's birth, his birthday, every month they were brought by bitter constraint. Didn't want to deal with this because we didn't deal with no birthdays. Show me where my shadow side said, it's my birthday. Or Joseph and Mary celebrated his second birthday, third birthday, fourth day birthday, fifth birthday, all the way to the time he was 33 years old. Show me that in the Bible. In history, where's that at? With Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel, you the prophets celebrate their birthday. Peter, Paul, who? Name them. Y'all following the way of the heathen. All that stuff is pagan. So it's against the law or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. And in the day of the king's birth, verse 7, every month they were brought by bitter constraint. Hear that? We didn't want to do this to eat other sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in profession to Bacchus carrying ivy. How many elephants have to be killed to get this ivy? Moreover, they went out a decree to the neighbors' cities of the heathen by the suggestion of Ptolemy, another wicked king against the Jews, against us, that they should observe the same fashions and be partakers of their sacrifices, making us sacrifice like heathens. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles to be put to death. You hear that? If you didn't conform to the manners of the Gentiles, the scripture says you should be put to death then might a man have seen a great misery, you see? So you got these wicked Israelites that are on the earth when the Masha Shai came that's part of these people ancestors. I mean, I mean, lineage. That's the ancestor we just read about. They're the lineage of the people that, you know, we just read about. So that's what Masha Shai came on the earth. He's dealing with the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the chief high priests and the high priests and the scribes and all of them and dealing with that type of mindset that they were hooked in with the Romans. They were hooked up with the Greeks and they became the Romans. They hooked up with the Romans. They were down with the Romans. That's why we read in uh, John how they said we're going to lose our power with the Romans and the, the nation going to follow a Mashiach that was shy instead of them. It's all about that power, power, power. They want people to believe in them instead of the most high and the Mashiach that was shy, man. So you see it. If you don't, then hey, go back over and look at it again. Read it for yourself. You can read the Maccabees. It's only two chapters. First Maccabees and second Maccabees. So it's very important that we see this. Um... Let's see, we're going to go to, uh, 
Let's see, we do Acts the eighth chapter. Let me see if I want to go there. These, these demons and our people. We got to look at our people first. Hey, let's go to uh, Acts the eighth chapter. And let's start at verse 9. It says, But there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, being giving out that himself was some great one. See? He was using witchcraft. And he was he was uh bewitching the people, you know of northern Israel, Samaria, giving out to himself was some great one, being somebody in the Roman Empire, want to be somebody in hell, right? To whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of the Most High. But remember, he's doing witchcraft on them, sorcery. Like, that's how they fooling all the nations right now, deceiving all the nations right now through witchcraft. As we read in Revelation 18, 23, the last sentence. And to him, they had regard because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. See, he bewitched them with sorceries, with witchcrafts. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of the Most High, we the kingdom of the Most High, the children of Israel, in the name of Baal I was saying, in the name of the Lord and Savior, they were baptized through the word, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip, hanging on with Philip. So he hang, continued with him. He learned from him and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now this dude been dealing with witchcraft, sorcery, whatever you want to call it. Now all of a sudden he going to hang out with Philip, a righteous man, and he wondered at the miracles and signs which were done. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had received the word of the Most High, they sent it to them, Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit. But as yet, he had fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized by Hashem of Mashiach, in the name of the Lord and Savior. Then laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. And when Simon saw that, through laying on the laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given. He offered them money. I want some of this. Sound like Tyler Perry out offering uh, <laughs> T.D. Jakes money to be able to put his hands on him and act like he's like ah, like he got some kind of power or something. Ain't never preached a day in his life. Mud dear, he might have did it with Mud dear, right? But he ain't did it as Tyler Perry. And that's mockery in his movies, if you can understand. So then laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Sound familiar? And when Simon saw that through laying on the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money. Hmm. Saying, give me also this power, that on whosoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. See that? You think he can buy the Holy Spirit? He can put money in somebody's hand. They can give him the power to have the Holy Spirit. This is our people. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. Think about that. I'm going to give you this money. Now let me just, uh, and everybody can see, you can go on the internet and see what Tyler Perry did with T.D. Jakes, man. Come on. Same. What's the difference? But Peter said unto him, Let thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor a lot in this matter. But thy heart, which is the way he think, his thoughts, is not right in the sight of the Most High. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness, and pray the Most High, if perhaps... The thought of thine heart, the thoughts that you have in your mind may be forgiven thee. He said, for I perceive 
that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Let them know, man, hey, you in the, the gall of bitterness. Because the, the Most High Spirit was not rolling with him. I don't care how long he hang out with Philip. Some people can come around you. That don't mean they have the Holy Spirit. They learn and learn and learn. It's an ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Say, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness, man. Peep them out, knowing what he's about, man. He want power. Remember, don't forget what it said. It said in verse 9, but there was a certain man called Simon. It's the same cat that want to buy the Holy Spirit. Which before time, in the same city, used sorcery, witchcraft. And bewitch the people of Samaria. So don't think that people can't be bewitched. This witchcraft is real. Giving out that himself was some great one. See? Giving out that himself was some great one. Want to be somebody. Well, my, well, through the power of the Most High, the Most High, the other side, Peter told him in verse 23, For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of wickedness. Straight up. Wicked sucker. Then asked Simon and said, Pray ye to the Most High for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. And they, listen, so he asked him to pray for him. Where is that at? Show me where he did it. He said, Pray for me. Pray to the Most High for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. And they, when they had testified and preached the word of the Most High, returned to Jerusalem and preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans. Where is it at that he prayed? They prayed for him. They ain't prayed for him. They kept on testifying and preaching the word of the Most High. He left them with, hey, for I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity, the bond of iniquity, wickedness, evil, sins, straight up. That's why we got to protect ourselves from these high-level demons. Don't get it twisted. In our people, we ain't with nowhere but looking at ourselves. Acts 19. Acts the 19th chapter. We're going to read from verse 1 to 20. Acts 19. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Spirit. And he said unto them, Unto what then were you baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptized, John's baptism. So when you understand John's baptism, understand this. Because a lot of people read the Bible and they'll read that and say, Okay, well, John's baptized, baptized who? Or he baptized everybody. No, it's specific. In Acts the 13th chapter, and verse 24, it says, When John, who was John the Baptist, what we're talking about, had first preached before his coming, before Mashiach was coming, the baptism of repentance, asking for forgiveness of our sins to all who? The people of Israel. You see? To all the people of Israel. Point blank. So this is these are Israelites who Paul is talking to because they received. John's baptism, which is to all the people of Israel. Point blank. Going back to Acts 19 and 4. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance that we just read. Saying unto the people who are the Israelites that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is on Amashiach Yahweh Shai. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the anointed Savior, Baha Shalom Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Spirit came on them, Salakia, 